Lee Stevens here with Lake Life Realty for another video for our home improvement series. And we are here with Jeremy, the owner of Lighthouse Contracting Group over in Moulton Borough on Lake Winnipesaukee. So thanks for inviting us over. Yeah, thanks for coming. We're super excited to share with you all that Jeremy's been doing at this massive remodel over here. Gorgeous lake house. Right now, we'll start with the basement. On the lower level, we're here. This was completely unfinished when you came here. Yeah. Um, so tell us from the start the design process and how this this all came to light. So we started asking the client, you know, what they what they wanted in this space, you know, how they were going to use it, and uh, this the bar was something that was at the top of the list from the beginning. Behind us, there's a gym, there's a there's a bathroom, there's an office, and this will really be the hangout area here with the pool table and the fireplace, and that area over there will be filled with uh, furniture for sitting. They have a drink machine that's going to go on the counter here, and we had, uh, so they're pretty excited about that. Is that one of those pre-made yeah. drinks? Just push margarita, and out comes the margarita. Yeah, put the pot in. <laughs> yep. So they're pretty Perfect. pumped for that. Um, so yeah, just working through, um, trying to ask them the right questions and, and what, how they want to use the space, how they, who they see hanging here. Mm -hmm. So. And how did those decisions, you know, relate to, you know, the live edge bar and the type of flooring that you use? You know, what kind of questions did you have to talk with or work with um, and how'd you choose who you were going to use? Well, so Lauren Milligan Design was the designer on this project and she really starts to help poke and prod the clients to get out there, you know, what it is that they're interested in. So whether it's putting together house boards or Pinterest boards, things that are of interest to them. And then when you start seeing a lot of similarities, it becomes pretty clear like, okay, this is the path we're heading down. So here's a little bit of like, it's rustic, but it's clean, rustic, modern. So, you know, there's some barn board on the, on the bar here. We made a cool barn board, uh, pool cue, and dark board rack. Um, we have luxury vinyl plank flooring here. That's kind of a barn board look as well. Mm -hmm. you know, so it all kind of ties together with the brick. All this brick was existing. It's reclaimed brick. From, I'm not sure where it came from, but it's definitely reclaimed. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. I mean, it's beautiful. The live edge ties in with, you know, bringing the outdoors, which are just right out the slider here, right out to the lake. And then when we were upstairs, you had some remodel on the main floor, um, particularly the kitchen. Saw a massive remodel. Tell yeah. us a little bit more about that. Here, I mean, we didn't necessarily, the bathrooms all got gutted, but not all the common areas, including the kitchen, got gutted completely. We worked around much of what we had that was able to be used, you know, the beautiful cherry cabinets in the kitchen. There was nothing wrong with them so we we replaced the, all the countertops um, we cut in a copper farmhouse sink into the existing sink base we built a new island uh, it's a contrasting island we put all new knobs and hinges on the existing cabinets we added some pullouts and some accessories in a few of the cabinets um, there was a laundry room off of the kitchen, and we made that into a pantry, put a cool etched glass pantry door there with some bunch of shelving in, in that space. We moved the laundry into a closet in the master bathroom, and then we also added a laundry setup in the basement for the guests. Um, it got a new beautiful copper range hood in the kitchen. Uh, it's gorgeous, custom made. And then, of course, the new Wolf Range mm -hmm. to go to be paired with it. So the countertops are really cool. Yeah. yeah. And what I love is you you could tell, obviously, from what's brand new, but it all flows together. Like the flooring that you mentioned from the pantry, that was a vinyl floor before. Yeah. And you just brought the hardwood right in from the kitchen, and you would never, you never could tell that before that didn't previously exist. Right. And we were fortunate that uh, a lot of the oak flooring in the common area was replaced like two years ago. So, mm -hmm. you know, we were able to match it other times we'll have to sand and refinish so that everything blends together when we when we patch in or add in a manner like that but yeah and then upstairs you also had another bathroom renovation yeah yeah so gorgeous all different materials but they all flow together what would you say was the biggest challenge for this remodel um well so there was some there was a lally column in the wall behind me here you know and we didn't uh it, it didn't line up on the plans and there was some framing down here it was kind of roughed in when the house was originally built so uh we couldn't see this this column that holds up a massive steel beam above me um so we opened that up and we had to kind of change our plans a little bit and cabinetry had already been ordered but fortunately i think it worked out really well that was one challenge and 
Uh, the client was really um, trusting of us and the suggestions that we made or the solutions we brought to them because I always try and bring a solution rather than a problem. Mm -hmm. um, but it was fun. So this client, th these clients, they, they didn't come around. We had our weekly meetings via Zoom, you know. Uh, but once we started installing finishes, we, we didn't show them anything. So we have a reveal tomorrow that is uh, they'll get to see the whole project and we'll video that. So we're really excited for that. But otherwise, they haven't seen any of these finishes. They obviously selected them, most of them. But, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a lot of fun to reveal it. Yeah, the, the, the kind of like extreme makeover or fixer-upper. You yeah. draw the curtain back and it's the first Move time. Us. Yeah. How exciting. Yeah, and awesome. rewarding at the same time. Absolutely. Yeah. What would you say was the most rewarding part of this project for you? Um, I think we're pretty proud of, of uh, working around what we had. Uh, the lighting in the common area was terrible. It's post and beam, very open, up in the living room, loft, kitchen area. And we did some cable lighting in the kitchen. Uh, it took a, a network of solutions to really... <sighs> To really pull off how to how to bring some more lighting into that common area so we added some track lights in an efficient cost-effective way too because you can throw a lot of money at. it's pretty easy to throw you know thirty forty thousand dollars at lighting and hard to you know hard to light areas but um, it took a, a, a few different ways of going about it and we added quite a bit there so that was pretty cool um, and although a few of the fixtures are track lights they're modern nice decorative track lights mm -hmm. you know because that was how we could get being post and beam not that easy to run wires so that was how we were able to make that happen awesome perfect well thank you so much for sharing this project we're excited to share it with our viewers and yeah. show them all that you can do to a remodel um, and we look forward to the next project with you yeah thanks for coming thank you